The National Housing Development Trust slogan is building quality communities, one affordable home at a time. Those homes just got a lot sturdier. The homes are going to be more structured in terms of it's going to be solid concrete all the way through versus how the old homes were, where they were just concrete at the bottom and then aluminum all the way up. The older homes only have a 10-year lifespan. Three years are already up. So I think we have just about seven more years, but I'm not sure still whether those homes will sustain the weather conditions for another seven years but due to the major repairs that's going on with these homes. What we have now are semi-attached and strattered, which mean that the government will have a continuous role in these homes for repairs and maintenance and everything else. With the new plan, we will have a, a single family home on your own lot, which is about 4,800 square feet, which allows a family to be able to expand, not much expansion, but give them some room for expansion and it gives them their own yard space. In doing so, they're, they're given the full title to that one, to that parcel, and that parcel is theirs. They maintain it, they do everything to it. So the government at that time will not be responsible for maintaining that property once it is sold. We have designed three sets of plans, which is the one bedroom, the two bedroom, and the three bedroom. And depending on the financial situation of the, the clients, Whichever one they can qualify for, we will put them into those homes. And it also depends on the number of persons in the family. Orlando and Beverly Henriquez used to live in the affordable home scheme in West Bay. We decided that we need a home because where we were living, we only was living in one bedroom house, no bathroom, no kitchen, no nothing, just a single bedroom house. And when we moved to the affordable home, it was very helpful for us, very, very helpful. The Henriquez family later moved to Newlands with the help of the Gigi Ham program. For me and both my husband, I think we were both tired uh, when, the, when it comes to the hurricane, that we have to run to go either live with family or go live in an apartment. So we said that wasn't our future, so we need to move on. Their old neighbors, along with 100 other families currently living in affordable housing schemes across Cayman, will also pack their bags in the future. Uh, due to the, car, the hurricane, some of these homes were destroyed and some were repaired. So we now have 33 homes located in Windsor Park and 6 to 9 in West Bay. We have 12 homes in the Eastern Avenue area. They were supposed to have been um, sold, but unfortunately these homes cannot be sold because of the condition of the homes. That was the initial um, plan, was to actually sell these homes to do, to, for, for afford, as affordable homes but they, we were unable to do so uh, because the, home, the, the, the actual structure of the homes is not standing up to the weather conditions here in Cayman. That scheme, I need to reassure the, the homeowners that are currently there that even though these homes are expected to be demolished or live out its, its life until it falls apart, whatever the case may be, um, it's that we will be um, relocating them um, it is our plan that they will be one of our first persons to try and relocate them into these new homes because of the commitment that we have to these persons. From our perspective here at the Trust, we have been receiving a lot of inquiries and it is known that housing is a big issue here in Cayman. It is it's a, it's a, it's something that is, it is absolutely something that needs to be addressed, not just from the government perspective, but also from the private sector to somehow to come together to try to, to resolve this matter because we have on our, on our list of people who have actually registered with us in excess of 800 families. Right now the new plans are out to tender. However, if you build on your own land, you can choose from the NHCT models right away. For the build on your own property, we have recently sent out um, requests for pre-qualification of the contractors and we have received some of those um, documentation into pre-qualified contractors who may be interested in building homes for those persons who want to build their own property. Those contractors will sign an agreement actually with the homeowners, not with ourselves, because they're going to be, they'll be working for the homeowners as with any kind of other, other kind of construction projects. So those persons will choose from those list of persons who we've pre-qualified. 
and we're hoping by doing that we can bring the cost of construction down. To find out more about the various programs, you can come here, the NHDT office located in Cayman Center. Office hours are Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m.